Google is a private company. It has the capacity to utilize its massive power for whatever political agenda it chooses, but for it to pretend to be an advocate for internet freedom while simultaneously disadvantaging messages it finds politically incorrect is deeply hypocritical. It's arguable that Google is ostensibly one of the world's most progressive and politically woke organizations. In recent times, they have asked their programmers to steer away from using politically incorrect terminology such as blacklist and whitelist, master and slave. Apparently, blacklist and whitelist reinforce the notion that black equals bad and white equals good. Anyway, make of that what you will. Yeah, but sometimes that comes back to bite them. Google staff accuse company of racism and censorship in dispute over ethics researcher Timnit Gebru. Ethiopian-born artificial intelligence scholar Dr. Gebru dared to criticize Google's technology identifying racial bias in facial recognition software. Google apparently accepted her resignation, even though she never resigned. So obviously, Google are woke in name only. Nevertheless, for the sake of argument, I'm only going to use Google search dictionary definitions in this video so that I'm getting the most woke and up-to-date meanings of each of these words. Knight in the Middle Ages, a man who served his sovereign or lord as a mounted soldier in armour. In the UK, a man awarded a non-hereditary title by the sovereign in recognition of merit or service and entitled to use the honorific Sir in front of his name. Sir, used in a polite or respectful way of addressing a man, especially one in a position of authority. Used to address a man at the beginning of a formal or business letter. Used as a title before the forename of a knight or baronet. Okay, so clearly these are masculine terms, but a recent children's TV show that my young children are currently watching and enjoying immensely are trying to turn these definitions on their head. Enter Sir Mouse. Sir Mouse is a children's cartoon currently showing on Australia's ABC television that tells the story about the unusual friendship between a bossy mouse knight and her gentle friend Dragon. Now I've got nothing against the storyline. If the creators want to have a female mouse dressed in armour going around performing heroic deeds, great, more power to them. My children absolutely love the concept. However, when I found out that Sir Mouse was actually a girl, alarm bells started to ring. I'm not even personally against them using the term knight, it's a cartoon after all, but there are other terms that can be used. Dame, for example, is the official term for a female knight. Dame, in the UK, the title given to a woman with the rank of Knight Commander or Holder of the Grand Cross in the Orders of Chivalry. In 1358, women finally gained full knightly acceptance in England when they began to be admitted to chivalric orders, though they are called dames, not knights. But the one thing I do take issue with, Sir Mouse, is the fact they call her Sir. What is the purpose of that? Remembering this is a children's television show, obviously impressionable young children are going to watch this and grow up thinking calling a lady sir is completely normal and okay. I knew it wasn't an accident. I knew there must have been some underlying woke reasoning behind the creators choosing to call their female mouse heroine sir, so I investigated. According to its creators, the series challenges gender stereotypes and asks the audience to question perceptions of traditional fairy tale cliches. As I said before, I've got nothing against the premise. Go ahead, have a female mouse knight. I have no issues against that. But calling her Sir is one step too far, I think. If they wanted to show that women too can be knights, that's fine. That was resolved in 1358 when women gained full knightly acceptance in England. But since when is it okay to start changing the meanings of words such as Sir and pushing it on our young children? The producers of the show commented, While both are female, the series refrains from focusing on gender and instead impresses the idea that girls can demonstrate typically male behaviours and vice versa. We prefer the slogan, knights can be girls, to girls can be knights, because we are not solely focusing on girls. Most importantly, it's fun and entertaining, but it also has an underlying social message about equality, and because it's based on a published book, it will appeal to both public and commercial broadcasters. So what do you think? Am I wrong in being upset by this? It's just a work of fiction after all. But should we be using traditional male terms such as sir to address females? Is that equality? 
One must wonder what would happen if I walked into the office and went up to my female manager and said, Excuse me, sir. I think at the very least, it would cause some confusion, but more likely would lead to disciplinary action.